Hi, this is Chef and Builder J.D. Pendleton, and welcome to my new office. That's right, I got her done. Other than trim molding, some curtains, and some steps to the door, I'm done with it. So come along and I'm going to give you the tour of the deep earth bunker and some of the really good deals that we picked up between Big Lots and uh, eBay and some other discount stores. I think we did really, really well. The most expensive part of the office was my glass top of my desk and this chair. And these two pieces here weren't cheap, but compared to what you get, these still, for the money, probably cost the most. Uh, lamps were from eBay. My husband rewired them. Um, we put some new shades on them, some ribbon, and they just turned out beautiful. We added some pieces that we got in Iraq. They're really drop-dead gorgeous pieces. Um, I added some ribbon to the chair here, and this is just a really nice wing back office chair. I love this piece. It's probably one of my favorite pieces. The new rug we got from uh, Big Lots for under $100, and it's just a really nice 7 by 10 rug, if not larger. A beautiful fireplace, some more lamps that I added some more ribbon to, and my crafts architect's table for clients to be able to come over here and see their plans, and of course, the deep earth bunker. We got the floor in, everything's painted, we painted this wall, and we pushed this out to make the room feel wider. So come along, and I'm going to show this all to you up close and personal. So come on. I mean, this, this uh, camera does not do the chandelier justice. It just doesn't. I got that sea turtle green that I painted on the walls. It's more of a blue green. I've got the starfish on the white. I still have to put another coat on the door. You can still see there's tape around stuff, but um, I did get my desk chair designed and I got it in. And I got the rug I picked up from Big Lots for under a hundred bucks. And it's a it's a seven by ten rug that's been bound. It was carpet that had been bound, and I love this. It's really beautiful. I wanted to go for the sand on the ground. You know, the ocean colors and this starfish. So it's called starfish white on the walls. So I kind of wanted to get that ocean sea cottage look. And then I did that sponge painting on that red brick. If you'll remember the red brick that was on the house. You can go here and you can see the video. Click on that and you can see the earlier videos of construction. And that really just pushed this wall this direction. Now I still have to put trim on the windows. We've had nothing but blizzard after blizzard and, I've, and I'm not going to sand in here. But I did get the floor down. I'm really happy with this floor. I mean it was under a dollar a square foot plus my builder's discount. So um, this maple floor, it's a, it's a beautiful floor. My uh, curtains from Ikea are in. I got these on eBay used but the lady had only had them hanging for about a week and she didn't like them. So I got five uh, pairs of curtains. I got to get a couple more to match. I'm going to paint these in a taupe stripe just along the edges to match and then I'm going to hang those on my windows. I'll probably do more of the color that's in the chair. Um, I got the lamps off eBay and we completely refurbished those. My husband rewired them and I added some ribbon here with some wire here. We added some black lampshades and some really cute uh, finials here on top that look like little, see that? Look like little acorns. And uh, we got them all painted. I don't know if you can see up in there, but these were antiques and we got them all painted. And this is all new wiring and we're getting ready to, uh, to redo the wiring here across the floor so you don't see that. And I actually got three of these lamps. They're absolutely gorgeous, but one's in the family room. This is a decanter we got from Iraq. And I just filled it up with a couple of drops of blue and green water and kind of try to pick up the collars that were on the wall. And I've got a bench that's coming in right here that's just going to be um, a storage bench. It's like a tufted bench with the cherry legs on it, like one long footstool so, so my clients can come in and sit on the other side and be comfortable. You know, and the bad thing about separate chairs for clients is, is the fact that they like to get up against each other and look at plans that are sitting on my table here. I like to be able to turn the plans around so that they can see how I've drafted them. And a bench lets them sit, you know, really close together. Unlike two chairs would kind of limit how close I can get them up to the table. The glass top was custom made for me and had a custom uh, beveled edge put on that. It's, it's just gorgeous. The two tables here were just in tables. And for 50 cents, I got a couple of those little suction, double-sided suction cups, cups off eBay. For like under a dollar, I got like 12 of them. So um, this cabinet here. Here's this uh, wall, by the way, up close. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, this is one of my favorite things about this room is this wall. 
Now here yesterday we were at Big Lots and we picked up some beautiful pictures to put above here. And I just think that's going to be gorgeous. There's one. No, oops, don't scratch over the top. And there's the other one. And um, they were $10 at Big Lots, okay, a piece for these. And I got my discount, so they were only $8 and like 25 cents for these pictures each. And they're beautiful. And when they sit up just perfect and at the right angle, they reflect the color that's on the opposite wall, which is this blue color. Let's see if I can show you what I mean. See that? I don't know if you can see that, if I can get the right angle. But see how that's reflecting in the foil? See here, you can see the foil mirror stuff here. And it's reflecting the paint across the room. So when I'm hanging these up on the wall, see that? They're going to bring in the color of the wall, of the opposite wall in. And that's, well, just a little, little trick of the eye between mirrors and things. But I also have that mirror. And then, of course, the little ribbon matches kind of the color tone that's in there. Now, if you don't like all the color that's in here, I'm a watercolorist and an oil painter. I can always come in here and add a couple of other colors or something in here and change this up a little bit. You know, if I wanted to, I could. Okay? And that's those. And I'm really excited about that. These had some nice frames on them and really picked up, you know, the colors that were, you know, in my lamps and stuff. So, over here, um, Oops. Now over here, I just picked up a couple of little bunnies offline. I think these were like $5. And Big Lots, I got this. Look at that. Uh, it was $16, and I got it at 50% 50 50 off plus my discount. So I did good on that. So that was 8 plus a little off that. So it was about $6 for that piece. Um, I know I got this at Big Lots as well, and I think I paid $12 for this beautiful jewelry box. And I've just been storing all my paint colors in here so I know what color I painted the walls and what color I might want to paint the furniture. I kept that in there, little trinket. The lamp, I added some more uh, ribbon to match the other lamps to it. And it's got a beautiful silver lining in here. And I got this lamp at Big Lots on sale. It was the last one. I've got to kind of take some things off of here. But I picked this lamp up for, I think it was $14 or $15 with all my discounts. The garden clutch, which I'm planning on putting a little plant underneath here since this is a sunny window. I've got some beautiful bird nesting boxes. These are just gorgeous. These actually open up to hide things, more storage. And you can always use storage in a small room or in an office. I don't care who you are, okay? Hide your little next manuscript in there. I don't know. But, you know, it's just a nice place to keep little hands out of things if you have grandkids or what have you. And then I got this little bowl here, and it was uh, it was $11 at Big Lots. And it's a beautiful crackle glass bowl. And then I got my discount on it as well. So I probably paid about $8 for it as well. So everything up here, you know, under, you know, $30, $40 for everything on here. Now, that's not bad. Now, the fireplace. Let's turn it on here. And it's got a, a heater and stuff in it. You know, um, when we put this together, these were selling for around $699 for this type of fireplace. You can adjust the glow of this as well. And I love this for a room that I'm not in all the time, but um, it is on a slab. And it does keep the room warm, especially since I have high ceilings in here. I can run the ceiling fan and run this heater. And, you know, I'm just sitting right here next to, let me get stand back here just a little bit. And you can see I'm just sitting here next to the fireplace. So this gives me a nice little romantic feel. It makes my uh, clients here that will be sitting across from me, it makes them feel comfortable. And um, and I just, I love this piece. But we got this at the end of the year. Well, it would have been spring when they weren't selling fireplaces. And, oh, that scared me. And I think you can see the reflection of the rug in there. Let me come down here a little better. There you go. <laughs> But um, I think we picked this up for around $190, $189 with our military discount card, our 20% off that we saved up, our other coupons, and that. I mean, we went in there, we saved for six months knowing what we wanted to buy if anything was left over at the end of the year. We walked in and they happened to have this fireplace, which was my favorite, and it was the largest, and I walked out the door with it for almost next to nothing. For what it is, it, I mean, the heater was worth that. 
So, I mean, and you're talking about a very carved out um, all wood box there. And then, I mean, you know, with a nice uh, espresso finish, it's like a cherry espresso type finish. I mean, I just, I love this piece. Now over here, we have my craft table, architect's table with some cubbies, you see that? We've got some really cool cubbies there. Um, I've got my wipe off boards for my uh, writings and for my uh, schedules that will go up here on the wall. I'm gonna have some nice cherry shelving here. I've got another computer here that I can show the clients their plans and their design work. Um, quite a few things to hang up, but you know, I got my Bibles and things over here. But, um, and then of course right here, we've got this uh, storm shelter open today for, because um, it's storming, we usually we'll open the door to the storm shelter when it's uh, storming. But you can see this is serving, oh, there goes the lightning. But you can see that this serves a multi-purpose. I can come in and out the back with the dog, you know, and if she's muddy, I got a place here to kind of wipe her up where she's not running through the rest of the house. You know, she likes to come in here and sit by the fireplace. Sometimes I'll bring her bed in here and let her kind of lay and look out the window. Huskies, they like that kind of thing. But, um, but man, everything here, I either got at the Goodwill or online. Look at these little buckets to hold my paintbrushes. To hold pencil pins, what have you. You know, a little place here to hold some fresh uh, flowers for the spring. I got this at the Goodwill for like 50 cents. You know, I've got my tobacco tag collection. That's all these are going to go, go up on the wall. I gave, I got this right here at, um, at Goodwill for like a dollar. <laughs> Isn't that a pretty piece? This has two bar stools with it and they are extremely comfortable. My kids like sitting here and if you need to, there's storage back in there so you can, you can put some more storage there. But again, you know, I'm really happy with it and you can see my storm shelter back there open. This is, this is the view my clients have when they come in here. They can kind of sit here at my desk at this angle and then they can kind of look down into the shelter and think about what it is they want and how they'd like their house or their room addition or whatever built. But anyway, I'm going to take you on down in here. Are you ready to see down in here? Don't be scared. Do not be claustrophobic on me, okay? Do not be like that. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, here we just come on down. We have our satellite system. We have our Wi-Fi system for internet. Oh, there's a boomer. We have our light system, and this will glow. This light actually lights the staircase. We have all of our pipes. Okay, and we come down here, and we have a dehumidifier and a heater. And look at this. We have double bunk beds with quilts and pillows. I mean, I brought in a little sea turtle. This looks like you're in a sailboat. My husband wired these lights so you can see it a little better. There's shelves down here with extra candles. We have a prayer corner. We have um, we have a jack, a three-ton jack to get us out. See him down there? Three-ton jack to get us out. And we have all of our uh, bug-out stuff, uh, bug-out bags and everything. And everybody's extra clothing is on this side. And everything on this side is kitchen wares, things we might need to cook with. Uh, emergency is a way to make fire. There's an axe in case we got to axe our way through something to get to something. Um, you know, to start clean up and build up. There's, um, there's all kinds of medical supplies in case someone gets hurt. Um, we've got dishes for the kitchen. Um, shower uh, uh, stuff we may need. Female or male emergency uh, stuff. You know, like toothpaste, things like that. We have a, a medical bug out. We have more medical. Uh, we have ways to make fire or actually ways to hunt. And this one right here is empty, but I would like to have more, um, uh, more of that type of thing in here. Over here, we have a fan in case you get too hot, which isn't we're underground. That, that hasn't really happened yet. And then over here, we're getting ready to make an entertainment center here. That's why you kind of see some of the black spots we've been hammering. That's a rubber mallet where we've been hammering. But we have Blu-ray player. We have the television that swings out in the middle here. So if you're all the way back here, you can see what's going on with the weather. And you can see all of our setup here for that. And we did not drill into the uh, unit here. This is all done with zip ties and with Velcro or tying into these. See, we tied into these uh, welds, okay, to these tack welds. And then here we have another light. And you can see how it ties into there and it comes down. And then we have outlets. 
Here, let's see if I can show you up underneath here. See, we have outlets that go all the way down into there, all the way around, and then we have more outlets. See that? We have more Wi-Fi and more outlets. Okay, and the pipe, we just use the bracket here to put the support the pipe. This way, see, and then this pipe is supported around here. Okay, we just drilled through the seats there. And that's it. I mean, you can sit back here and you can watch TV, what have you. There's a severe storm and a tornado right now just north of us, and I feel perfectly comfortable and safe. I mean, I've never been so relaxed in storms. We did put down some Berber carpet that we got at Big Lots for uh, 60 no, it was $35 for the carpet and the runner. We got it on sale with all of our discounts that day as well. So just make a list of what you need and then go in and get it. <laughs> Oops. Oh, and your cell phones do work down here. And then here's the bunk beds. See, and I've just got emergency uh, quilts, that, again, that I got from Big Lots here. For about $15, $12, $15 with our discount. I got a double set of quilts. See, right there. And you just unchain this and drop it. You got emergency lighting. And you can take these off and go. So if you need it to be a flashlight, you can do that as well. And it just, it's there at all times when you need it. We have four of them on each end of the bed. See that? Well, we lost one. It's here somewhere. <laughs> So, you know, I don't really know what else to tell you about it. We make sure we don't lose things. Everything is uh, commercially Velcroed with commercial Velcro or industrial Velcro. And then looky there, there's somebody that's come up to see us. Okay? <laughs> and we have another little sea scene here of a sunken ship. Just, <laughs> it helps, I find, to make the, the grandchildren and, and people more comfortable coming down. And then you just come back up again. And Lexi, what have we got when we come up, huh? We've got a warm fire brewing and, you know, and that's that. Um, our lights are flickering. That means the lights outside are flickering. Hmm. See the lights flickering? Let me turn that off. It's still flickering. So... Just on the other side of us is quite a storm going right now on the other side of town because that's where our uh, utility plant is. So I'll go ahead and shut that off. What do you think, Lexi? But I, I, I love it in here. Let's show them with the lights out how. This looks so. See, we got the glow of the fire. And in case of an emergency, Head south, that's what I always said. <laughs> no, we actually make units that are above the ground. Come here, Lexi. No. And so, you know, all you have to do is close it down and hook that. Then we'll come back here again, turn that light back on. And then you can see that it's closed. Now I've got some wrought iron works over here in the corner. I don't know if you can see them or not, but they're actually usually go on here, but I got to figure out a way to attach those. I'll have to use some sort of like a glue weld of something. But um, that's it. That's my office and I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I said, you can come back when we get the curtains up and we get the woodwork on. Um, I still got to put gutters on and I got to do these steps. And other than that, we are done aren't we Lexi yes we did yes we got her done oh we got her done so I'm like to bite my feet okay okay someone's want my attention so I better go this is chef and builder Janie Pendleton and I hope you've enjoyed the tour of the deep earth bunker our tornado shelter and uh, the new office on the inside and if you have suggestions or tips on how I should be decorating it, or I've got to have some ideas here for this wall. I need more storage. And, um, of course, I need my chalkboards and stuff up. So um, I thought just about some cherry shelves and maybe some baskets on the wall, like letter-type baskets on the wall. I didn't hang things on the wall. So that's very difficult for me to envision some things on the walls. I mean, I can decorate everything but the walls. I have a real issue with it. 
Anyway, this is builder and chef Janie Pendleton, and be sure and leave a comment below and let me know what you think of my room, my discount room from Big Lots and eBay, because that's where everything came from. Uh, my decorating budget was under, um, probably under $1,800 uh, by the time I got done building the room and everything, so I think we did pretty good. Oh, it's hailing. And we've got tornado warnings out. There's a tornado on the ground just north of us. So I just got off the phone from my son. And this right here is just the winds blowing the rains. And looky, there's still snow on the ground. Can you still see the snow? Here, let's look, look out this way. I don't know if you can. Guess not. Well, but the only direction you can really see right now is out this way. I'm trying to get to a spot where you can see out better. Cause I got cut glass here. I don't want to have to open the door. Now we're protected on this side of the house. So for this door is, so you really can't hear the wind. And right now I'm not even really hearing a lot of rain. That right there is completely hitting the other side of our house. So this is what we have to contend with. I mean, this is only February the 22nd, I think, and this is what we're contending with. The year ended like this, going into the winter, and now it's uh, the spring is starting this way.